Okay, we'll be taking a look at the AMD Chorion RM72 CPU today in Cinebench R15. Uh, it's a laptop CPU, an older laptop CPU. Before Again, before that CPU goes, we'll give it a test in uh, Cinebench R15. I'm taking a guess that the CPU will probably score somewhere around an estimation of around 87 points. Um, maybe even less, I don't know. Uh, I'm not expecting it to be high. Uh, the CPU itself is good enough for uh, well, basic laptop uses, web surfing, email, and all that uh, jazz. The CPU itself is good enough for you know Microsoft Office uh, and other basic things like that, basically. Okay, so we run that Cinebench test and we can see that the processor RM72 scored a lowly 26 CB. Uh, that's way under what we um, estimated in the 80s. Now, partly this may be due to the fact that the laptop itself, when the CPU was stressed, did start to throttle some part through the test. Uh, in fact, it's probably more likely that it did, as I'm used to using this laptop in uh, CPU stressful situations and I've noticed a throttling uh, happen before. So we probably haven't really got a true um, representation, after all, of what this uh, CPU is capable of. However, you know, that being said, it's obvious that this CPU is, uh, you know, years later now, it's, uh, it's no match for what we've got out there. Uh, today, um, it was interesting to run the test just to see what we got. Um, that's the thing about laptops in general, it's why they're generally not good as a desktop replacement because they overheat even if you've got a powerful system, a powerful uh, graphics board in there, powerful, uh, see, you see the powerful GPU and the powerful CPU uh, in, in a laptop never always uh, works out to anything much because as soon as it starts to get hot the things just always throttle uh, which cripples your performance so I'd always just uh, build a desktop to be honest with you 